Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasm. Right off the bat, I apologize for the voice. I think I got gonorrhea or AIDS or something. I don't know. I may be dead by morning. You never know. But let's get on with the show. Right off the list, the final edition of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. They're only going to build 1,600 of these vehicles for the world. And the first one was sold for charity at auction at an eBay auction that actually brought in $46,200 U.S. dollars, and all of those proceeds go into the Multiple Sclerosis Society. So add a boy to the folks over at Mitsubishi. But you better get on your horse if you want to get one of these additions, because they will be going quickly. Next up on the list, this vehicle's crosstown rival, the brand new Impreza. We've yet to see the WRX or the WRX STI versions coming that are going to coming very soon. Hopefully we get those in the next couple of auto shows. But there's a lot of rumors coming from a lot of directions that the new STI, the highest end version, will be a hybrid machine. Which may have got a lot of fanboys really upset, especially that purist rally car style image. Maybe kind of gone with this hybrid setup, but from a fella who has driven a hybrid here recently, tell you what, it's not that bad. And the amount of torque that that thing put together was very, very impressive. So this may be a really, really good thing, but again, we'll have to wait and see what Subaru may have up their sleeve on this one. Next up on the list, vehicle we haven't talked about in a while. This vehicle debuted at the Dubai Motor Show, the Devel 16, with this astronomical type of situation where they talked about the brake horsepower of the machine being over 5,000. Well, now here we are, at least a year gone by, haven't heard little to nothing about this machine. And then a video surfaces on their YouTube channel. It shows a group, Steve Morris Engines, out of Michigan, here in the United States, has actually built the first ever Devel 16 engine. And the 16 plays an important part, because this thing has a 12 Point three liter V16. Yeah, you heard me right. Now, this is not two eight cylinders bolted together. They're claiming this is one piece crank, also one piece billet aluminum 16 cylinder block. Now, it comes with 32 valves and four turbochargers that are spinning 30. 6 PSI. This is on the high end. The video is up on the Facebook page right now if you want to check it out because it's pretty impressive. This thing makes a lot of smoke. In fact, this vehicle on the dynamometer was making 4,515 brake horsepower at 6,900 RPMs and 3,519 pounds feet of torque at just 6,600 RPMs. Now, I know what you're thinking right off the bat. Whoa, wait a minute. I thought 5,000 horsepower. Well, apparently, this dynamometer only goes to 4,515. So we don't know the actual power that this machine is actually putting out. Now they do have an only 20 PSI, what they're calling their pump gas road setting edition, which only makes a leisurely 3,006 brake horsepower and only 2,407 pounds feet of torque. Again, we don't know little or nothing. We don't know when this machine is going to debut or anything. There's the next couple of auto shows could be coming up. This thing could show up anywhere. And not to mention, could kind of try to steal the show with those kind of power numbers. No word either is how much is this thing going to cost. I'm suspecting that this thing's going to cost quite a bit. Because you're looking at the first production version, W16. If it goes into production, and if it goes into production, it will have the most powerful production car engine on the planet as of yet. So... We'll have to wait and see on all these things, and guaranteed, I'll keep you in tune if I hear any more. Next up on the list, Honda's in the news again. There's been a lot of rumors floating about about a S2000 successor, which has really gone on and on about this vehicle maybe making a mid-engine supercar-style layout, which seems kind of odd because Honda and Acura are already building the NSX. Now, it makes sense if they were wanting to share the platform to try to spread out some of the cost of the manufacturing on the brand new NSX. But now we're hearing another rumor coming out that the S2000 will go back to an FR platform, front engine, rear wheel drive, and maybe going head to head 
with this particular machine, the brand new MX-5. Now, the early rumors suggest that there's going to be an entry-level model which will go nicely head-to-head -head with the new MX-5, but there will be maybe a turbo version, maybe something like the Civic Type R engine inside of it that will be making well over 300 brake horsepower. Again, these are all just rumors, so we'll keep you in tune if we hear any more. More MX-5 news. In fact, the next two stories are about the little Mazda Miata. The new MX-5 got Japanese Car of the Year, a very prestigious award in Japan, and is on the final list for the North American International Car of the Year award in Detroit, Michigan at the Detroit Motor Show. This vehicle will be going head-to-head -head with two other machines, and it being this machine, the brand new Honda Civic is in the running for the North American International Car of the Year, and also the brand new Chevrolet Malibu. Again, these are all voted on by journalists and will make their debut with their winner at the first day of the Detroit Motor Show coming up the first part of January of 2016. The Truck of the Year finalists have come out as well, and it includes the brand new Honda Pilot from the folks over at Honda, also Nissan's brand new pickup truck, the new Titan XD, an interesting machine which is kind of in between a half ton and a three quarter ton for that kind of in between type work. Also, Volvo's brand new XC90 is in the running for this as well. Again, these all will debut, as far as the winner is concerned, in the first day of the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, in the first part of January. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show notes will take you right over there. You can check out the Devel V16. Goodness gracious, it makes a really nice noise too. Quite surprising for a lump that, that that's that large. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.